Hey all and welcome back gamers. In today's video we're going over how to max out your loot luck chance in Wonderlands as quickly as possible. There is eight different ways to max it out to around about 50,000. I'm currently at 48,000 and if I get the perfect piece of loot we'll be at 50,000 meaning we get higher tier items like legendaries more often in the game from both dedicated and world drop sources. Now if you don't know how to find your loot luck number first go to inventory then go to skills then go to hero stats and you'll find your loot luck number right here underneath your class power. Now these are all the multipliers I currently have as you can see adding up to 48,000. So loot luck base is the first one that's super simple it's just getting to level 40. Once your character hits level 40 you will have 1648 loot luck base. Next you can see that number is doubled by my myth rank loot luck multiplier. Myth rank is a secondary leveling system that you get after you hit level 40. You just get a whole bunch of points to spend in these four trees that all have different things like uh, different hero points you get gun damage elemental damage stuff like that and the top left tree once you get to it you can actually buff your loot luck number. 20 points to spend in here and they all buff it by 5% each as you can see directly below me I maxed out at an extra 100% loot luck. Our third one is our equipment loot luck multiplier. Currently I have it at 1.6 I believe I can get it to 1.65 I think. Currently my two items are a amulet slash necklace which has 34.9% loot luck this is just a random world drop that I got in the chaos chamber. If you get a chaotic it can roll with 34.9 I believe a volatile would hit 40% I think. Let me know what the best loot luck number uh, percentage passive you guys have on your gear. The other one is an enchantment that you can get, I believe, only on shields. I have rolled many, many enchantments on all my weapons, my melee weapons, my spells. The only thing I've got loot luck on is the shields. So correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it only drops on shields and it's 25% bonus, making up the 1.6 together. Skipping down a couple to the Chaos Loot Luck Multiplier, you get 1.8 just for hitting Chaos 20. You can see in your menu here, if you go to Chaos Mode, as you skip up and down the levels, you get different buffs and uh, negatives as well. Enemy HP and damage will go up through the roof, but you will get more XP, gold, moon orbs, and loot luck. At level 20, a bonus 80%, which is the 1.8. Next, we have the Shrine Loot Luck Multiplier. In the open world, there's a bunch of different shrines that give you a bunch of different buffs, and one of them is a Loot Luck Buff. Actually, pretty easy to do. If you go to your journal, go to World Buffs, scroll down, you can see how many you've collected so far. Currently, we have 4 out of 4, and we're getting the buff, which is directly behind my head, but it is a 25% bonus, or a 1.25 multiplier. To collect all four of RNG's shrine pieces, they're actually pretty simple. They're all in this general location in the overworld. Uh, and pretty much what you have to do is three separate encounters. Uh, each encounter will have an extra wave as you do them. Uh, but they're pretty simple. They're not too difficult. You can do it on any difficulty as well. You can be Chaos 20, no Chaos. You can be on Tense. You can be on Relax mode. It doesn't matter. Uh, all you have to do is each of the encounters. And then at the end, you'll be able to collect the shrine piece as a reward next to a giant chest filled with hopefully some decent loot. This one's the only exception. You don't have to do any encounter for this one. Literally just go to the location, have your ability to press the purple magical buttons, which you should have by the time you get to this location anyway. I believe you just get it at the end of the Karnox Wall main story mission once you completed the boss in that area. You can press the button and literally just grab it completely for free. The final one though will require a side mission located in this spot right here. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, you do have to have completed the main story like in its entirety before you can pick this up, which by the time you get to this location, you only really have one or two missions anyway. Uh, but just do what the guy says. You have to do one encounter. You come back to him. Then he does some magical sand ability magic stuff and he gives you a ramp, which then you can actually get up to the final uh, encounter location, which is that giant big blue door right there. Do the final encounter waves. I believe there's three. And at the very end, they'll give you the final RNG shrine piece. Then once you've done that, go back to this location, which is where the actual shrine itself is, which the shrine pieces will automatically fill in, but you do have to walk up to it and activate it before it actually shows up in your loot luck multiplier and your buff in your journal. That bringing us to our final two loot luck multipliers, which is the biggest individual increase in the loot luck out of the entire game, and is the lucky dice. If you guys didn't know, there are 260 golden dice right across all the maps in Wonderlands, and as you find them, you get more and more loot luck multiplier. The first one is the 1.35. That's for finding all of them, and you won't get that until you've actually got the achievement for all of them. But the 3x multiplier actually adds up gradually as you find more and more of them. You can see how many you've collected in your journal. Scroll down, you'll find loot luck dice right here. And I've got 260 out of 260 now on this character. So I've got 35% extra bonus for collecting all of them. Now that can take a really, really long time. But if you guys enjoy treasure hunts, then enjoy it because it would be quite a lengthy one. But if you guys don't want to go on a 30 to 40 hour treasure hunt every time you start a brand new character, don't stress. I've got you sorted with guides on all the maps in order with all the dice locations in there for you guys to take it from a 30 to 40 hour trip. To about a two-hour trip maximum. I will link the playlist right here if you guys want to check that out. You're welcome to. It'll save you a bunch of time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of how to get to max loot luck. Feel free to subscribe on the way out if you guys did find the video helpful or if you enjoyed. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Till then, adios.